Hey what is going on guys welcome back to another video and today we'll be comparing the Xiaomi Amazfit Paste against the Xiaomi Amazfit Stratos. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the outer looks of these things we can see that they both have some distinctive design aesthetics that give off two different vibes. On one hand the Paste has more of a sporty fitness tracker look while the Stratos has more of a stylish nice looking design. Both the build quality and materials used on these watches are pretty great and while the Pace is using some kind of Corning Gorilla Glass for the display, the Stratos is using some 2.5D Sapphire display. The outer ring around both watches is made out of some kind of zirconia ceramics and while the rest of the bodies are both made out of polycarbonates, the Stratos actually has a carbon fiber textured polycarbonate body which is basically a very nice and hard type of plastic. I have tested both watches in rough PC building conditions where the sides and the displays are both constantly bumping into metal and to no surprise both have survived with zero scratches left behind. Both watches are dust and water resistant with the exception of the Stratos which is rated for 50 meters underwater. Now other than both watches having different easily swappable wristbands, the Pace has a single hidden button in the back while the Stratos has three very distinctive buttons on the right side. And lastly for the outer hardware side of things both watches have the sensors on the bottom where you can also find the heart rate monitors as well as the charging pads that use non-interchangeable charging docks. Which if we take a closer look in my opinion although I like the clean look of the Stratos charger, the Pace's charger is more practical in case anything happens to the cable since you can easily swap it out with a standard micro USB charging connector. So with all that being said, are there any major differences between them? Well not really, both watches have the exact same hardware and pretty much do the exact same things just with different looks. Yep that's right, these are the exact same thing and the only real difference is the looks and everything on the inside, the hardware, the software is the exact same thing. You are not missing out on getting one over the other other than the extra buttons but really I could care less about the extra buttons. But once again, these are the exact same watch just with a different body. Does the Maze Fit 2 look better? Yeah, absolutely. It looks fantastic, it looks more professional, it looks much nicer. And while the original Maze Fit does look nice, it's kind of plain. It's very simplistic. Again, it has more of a sporty look. And yes, I have tested both of these watches at the exact same time, multiple times over the past three months and have gotten the exact same results. Whether it's battery life or tracking, it's the exact same case. So with all that being said, we're going to be diving deep into the software and taking a look inside and seeing what kind of things you could do. And we are going to have a general overview of the watch as well as the app itself. All right, so for the sake of this video, we're going to be taking look at it with the backlight on on maximum brightness at level 5 and then we're gonna be taking a look at it under direct light and show you guys the difference. So here is the watch face and this is my favorite one by far. It has a lot of information and it looks pretty nice and it's pretty simplistic, pretty straightforward. You got all the information that you need right here. Swiping to the left you'll get your activities menu and right here you can click on one of the activities and you can click start and basically it will start tracking your heart rate, your GPS and pretty much everything that you're doing with this watch to the full extent and we'll track everything and record it. And it got a lot of activities right here and it tracks them pretty well. And you do have quite the variety here so you can click one of them and basically it will start tracking your GPS. And then once it's done it will tell you GPS ready or one on and you can click go and it will start tracking everything that you do. And pretty much this is where it shows you the stuff that you have done last and right here I have walking and it tells you the distance, the time and how long you walk, the calories, the load. And you can see the distance and just a whole lot of information that is really really useful which is pretty nice. And yes it does show the map as well so you can see the kind of stuff that you did. Here it shows you your heart rate and where it was. Here's a chart of it, more charts which is really nice and uh, somewhere here actually on the mobile app it will show you the path that you have walked or ran or whatever you've done. Here's a daily overview, you can just take a look at what you have done daily and then that's actually the last menu on the left side. Now if you go back you'll get your weather and of course this is all based on your phone and it will show you what you need to know. It's not that detailed but it's good enough for a quick look. Here you have your continuous hardware monitor, if you go ahead and click on it it will bring you to a menu where you can have your heart rate constantly being measured and uh, you'll have a nice chart at the end of it and it'll tell you what you have done. Then you have the stopwatch timer which is really useful and compass so you can just actually roll the ball like so until it fully reads which is really nice. Then you have your sleeping patterns and it will actually show you what you have slept, your deep sleep. It's really useful and it's really nice to track. Now if you don't like having a watch on your wrist then um, oh well but it definitely beats than having your phone plugged in beside you on your bed with all that radiation going on. But you can see it's a lot of detail and it's pretty nice, it gives you a really nice chart of what's going on with your sleep but it definitely helps tracking your sleeping order. Then you can have alarms and you can actually set whatever you need to. You can have your time, your repeat and uh, just simple stuff. And then you have music and with music it's actually a pretty useful function. So this thing actually has 4 gigabytes of built in storage that you can store music on. And what that means is you can actually leave your phone at home and have the whole watch track everything that you do and you can listen to music directly from this thing with your headphones. So you can actually pair up your Bluetooth headphones with this watch 
and listen to whatever you need to, which is pretty nice. And finally, you have Training Center, where it will calculate and give you results and tell you what you need to do. So let's go ahead and click Beginner, click Start, and it'll tell you Subscribed. And once that's done, it will tell you what you need to do, and it will tell you when you need to rest and whatnot. But we're not going to dive too deep into it. And finally, you have this last menu where you have things like Mi Home. Basically, it's the app where you control your Xiaomi devices. Now, what you saw here is actually in Chinese. And the reason for that is this watch was actually originally Chinese. And I had to actually hack it to get the English version. But... This watch does come in the English version, but it was actually sent the wrong version for review, which was the Chinese edition. So don't worry, everything that you see here is the exact same thing on the English version, but way more stable and with more updates. So make sure when you order this watch or any other Xiaomi watch, make sure you get the one that is the international English version. Make sure you read English, otherwise do not get it. But that's actually about it for this watch. It's the exact same thing with the original Xiaomi Amaze Fit. You're not going to be missing out on much really. The only real thing that I can think of that you can miss out on are again the hardware buttons on the side, which I really don't use. And this function right here from the Apple Watch, where you can actually just put your palm on top of it and it will turn off the display. And uh, that's actually about it. Now, you're probably asking, what is the battery life like on these things? Well, let me tell you. So if you use these things to the maximum extent, which is tracking everything with GPS on and the heart rate monitor, it will last you about three days. And that is three days worth of activity. But if you don't use the GPS and you use this watch every now and then and just have regular tracking, then you can last up to six to seven days of use. So it's not too bad. And the charging time for these things takes about an hour. So it's pretty good. And you're not going to worry about battery life much. These things will last for a long time and once they get to 5 or 10% I believe, they will go into locked mode and it would only show you the time and that's about it. It will disable all the services so it saves battery and serves as a watch instead of a dud on your wrist. Now let's take a look at the displays themselves. They are e-ink displays which means if you shine direct light into them, they will not fade. Instead, they will actually look more vivid and you'll see them even better. So if you shine this into the light right here, you can see the lettering much better than it is under the shadow. Now, since this is on camera, it's really hard to show you guys what it looks like, but you get the idea with light, it will look much nicer. And during daytime, direct sunlight, it will be super easy to look at and it will be much nicer to look at than you are indoors. What you have saw with the lights off is what it will look like during the night with maximum brightness on. All right, so here's the smartphone app and once you connect it, it will actually sync up everything that has been done on the watch to your phone and then you can read data much easier. Now, again, this is the Chinese version of the watch. So you can see right here we have an update and I cannot do it because again, the watch here is in Chinese. It's not the English version, but regularly you can update it very easily by clicking that and it will do everything and the watch will restart and do all that good stuff. So here's what the app looks like. That's what the front page looks like. You'll get all your data. Now I haven't done much and uh, you can see all the data right here. Going back, we have the battery life and it will tell you what your battery life is, your ROM version, your storage and how much is left, which shows you that the storage that you have left here is two gigabytes because because uh, I think most of it is being used by the OS itself. Here you can change the watch faces where you're supposed to be able to download some, but it doesn't seem like I could do that. Maybe it's just because of the Chinese app. And then over here, we can see the watch faces that we currently have much easier on your phone. And then you can load images from your phone and put them on the watch itself with the different type of faces. And over here under app settings, we have a couple apps that you can actually sync with. Uh, mostly they're Chinese right here. If you have the English version, you'll have more flexibility. Under the app settings are a couple apps that are built into this watch. So we can go to the file manager and that's where we can actually upload some stuff to the watch itself. And under widgets, here's where you can actually rearrange the stuff on your watch. So here's how I had it. I had the weather first, heart rate, stopwatch and whatnot. And then you can disable the ones that you don't like. For example, like Alipay, which you can actually activate on this thing, but I don't use that. Now, if we go to the next tab right here, we can see your activity. So for example, I have walking right here. That is an activity that I have done. If you click one of them, we can see the path that I have walked around. So that is really cool. It shows you the path that you have walked and how many times you have rotated and whatnot. So that's really nice to see. Would have been nice if Google Maps actually showed here, but it doesn't do that. But then if you go ahead and click details, it shows you even more stuff. So there's a ton of data that you can actually look at. And it's really useful. And I got to say the app here is really nicely put together. And here's the other path that I have walked around. And with that, guys, that is actually pretty much it for this video. So which one should you get and which one is worth your money? Well, if you haven't already figured it out, the Amazfit 2 is not worth it. It's almost double the price and it doesn't add any functions other than looks. Yes, it does look much nicer, but it's definitely not worth the extra 100 or so dollars. So with that, we're going to put this aside because it's just way too expensive 
over this thing. Meanwhile, the Amazfit 1, I'll actually give it my Commando stamp of approval. It's a great watch, it's always on sale, the price point is pretty great for the functions that you get, and overall the software has been really pleasant to use. And if you're wondering, yes, this thing is currently on sale, so I'll leave links for that in the description below. And with that, thank you all for watching, hope you have enjoyed this video and helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.